Today's video, we're going to be breaking down some Madden 16 Draft Champions gameplay for you guys. What's up guys, Cody here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Game 2 in my Draft Champions series. Um, last game, we had a nice shutout victory, uh, pretty solid defensively. We're looking to do the same basic thing, um, you know, really kind of try to, try to really, you know, play strategically here and, and just get out of here with a W. Uh, so a lot of the same things you're going to see here with a lot of dollar. I really like it. Um, and the reason, I, I feel like I have a lot of different styles. And, uh, you know, definitely this is a simple, simpler way to play, but um, I've been finding a lot of success with it. So we'll see how we do. Um, and uh, we'll go, like I said, we always start out with the game with a nice over-the-top coverage. We give them that underneath. That's fine. But uh, we're, our main concern is to keep everything in front of us, kind of feel our opponent out, see what they're going to do. Um, and, of course, we want to get Ryan Kerrigan in here, Mr. Hayes over here. And uh, we like to come out of this Mike Edge based on the hash. I mean, with him being on the right hash, we're going to send pressure from the right because uh, he's probably going to be throwing to the left. So um, let me see that. that. So a little off-tackle run to Crowl here. And like I said, I mean, and, and we obviously we want to get all of our best players in. we got to have, you know, Stephen Took needs to be on the field here. So we're going to go ahead and put him in here like this. And we're going to rock with that. And we'll send the pressure here from the right this time um, because he's on the on the hash. And just keep everything in front of us. You see here, I mean, he's taking the underneath a little better than my last opponent did. Um... And defensively, that's all we're and that's all we're looking really can do with the, with the skill our offense has. Um, defensively, we're just trying to keep everything in front of us, make him work for everything he gets, and then um, you know if the time comes where we need to really clamp down on it, we'll we'll get aggressive and we'll try and take some things away. But here, third and inches, we're just trying to keep everything in front of us here. A little off tackle run to Crow, and uh, we'll knock our guy out of bounds there. So a couple things off to note is that he likes to run that off tackle run. And uh, and so we'll see what we can do with that. A little spread formation here. I'm gonna try and send some nice, 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 nice. So some little underneath out routes, little out pass on these little quick runs, and that's really what we're looking to give up here. Um, in this situation, you know, let's try and. Um, and I like to run a lot of coverage opening up. I mean, I like to start out with some coverage, um, throw some passive pressure. Um, but overall, I really like to start out with coverage. So in this situation here, we need to flip it. We need to send pressure because, remember, he was running that ball off the left edge here. So we need to set that up. And, I didn't get my, and there's your off tackle left. There's a little play action. Godfrey comes down and makes a nice play. Like I said, I like to swap the linebacker with the safety uh, in the zone because the deep blues play a little bit better. And third and five. So it goes under center here. We'll go ahead and come pass commit here. Um, Third and five, this is a situation where the defense can come up big for us. We get a nice sack. As you see him trying to go vertical, trying to really attack us. And what I really think was probably going on in his head there was he was thinking, well, you know, Cody may be selling out uh, against that underneath pass, so I'm going to try and take a shot play here, uh, maybe hit him over the top in the third and five situation, kind of catch me napping on the uh, vertical plays. We stay disciplined. We stay disciplined to the defense, and we're going to get a three and out. So pretty solid uh, opening performance. Um, and here, you know, this is really important here. Two minutes, 11 seconds. Um, what we can do is, first things for first things first, is I love this ace pair flex. And what I want to do opening up is I just want to take it one shot play. Um, and the reason I want to do this is I'll just come out in the play action. Um, let's see. We'll just go play action, double post. And we're going to obviously... Um, block both tight ends we're just looking here to hit Brandon Cooks on a nice streak pattern um, I just like to take one shot play here if he's napping and of course we got caught up we we should have canceled that play action um, but next thing I like to do is then immediately run the ball after that this is why uh, with the two minutes and six seconds you know I have a nice little uh, option here that I can run the ball and still get a nice 
clock stoppage, and even if I, you know, and ter there Terrell Davis really gets a nice run, um, but the clock stops automatically after that. Whether I threw it or whether I ran it, the clock was going to stop, and so, you know, him probably selling out to maybe stop the pass. We're going to look to run it and uh, do that, so. Make some substitutions here. I like to put Cooks on the outside for the screen pass, and then I've got all my other guys here. We'll look to go right corner. This is where we're in our two-minute drill. I mean, this is where you've got to have your, your reads down pad, and you got to really make some good plays here. So we're going to try and hit some some stuff. Goes man. And they've been covering the slant route really good, but their Brandon Cooks gets a nice uh, man beater. And we'll go no huddle. I think we called the wrong place. We'll go ahead and check to the run here, outside zone. Terrell Davis, nice spin move, and Davis is off to the races, and another big run by him. We'll go ahead and go in and for six here now. Defensively, you know, he's got some, you know, he's got a minute 33 timeouts left. Um, and like I said, I like to go for two just to show you guys some more looks, so we'll show you that here. Uh, Davis is tired, but we think we could probably get away with running him one more round. I mean, it's just one more play. Um, so we're looking to really kind of use him because I don't want to use my backup. Here, Cooks bring him in motion. They don't follow, so we're going to leave him in motion, get an extra blocker on that outside edge to seal it for Terrell Davis to get in for two, and we'll go up 8 nothing. Now, like I said, minute 30 left. Offensively, you know, he's got to be in a two-minute drill mode. I mean, he's really going to be, you know, going hard for two minutes trying to really get down there and score. And so what we're going to look to do defensively is really the same kind of thing. Everything underneath we can give him. And what we're going to also focus on is taking away the outside, the corners, and those things are what a lot of people like to do. Uh, when they're when they're you know kind of pushing that tempo, so um, what you're going to see here is a lot of disciplined uh, blitzes. Uh, we're going to blitz for that right with that passive pressure play from the uh, Mike Edge three, and then uh, we'll obviously zone out. And so we're going to go cover four. Really try to take away that. There's a quick slant. But the main thing we're trying to do is here is, is really keep everything in front of us once again. I mean, and especially in this situation, because one big play and he could be, I mean, it could be 8 nothing. So, you know, we don't really want to try to jump anything, but a lot of cover 5 here uh, in this situation. What I actually like to do also is throw these corners on the outside in yellows, uh, let them lurk underneath there. I, I like that a little bit because they're going to do the best job. Um, uh, let's see here, go no huddle. I still like to go over top coverage though. Still like an over top coverage. There, Godfrey makes a nice interception. As you see, this this is like a cover three buck kind of thing where you have like a Tampa two style defense. But what really, it's a cover three more though than anything. And um, so here we get the ball. Like I said, now this is again similar to the last game. Our primary goal here is not to score a touchdown is to simply score a field goal um, because if we score a field goal you know we, we, we can rest assured that we're going to go up two possessions uh, and we'll also I think we do get the football coming out in halftime so um, let's see we're going to go inside zone here nice spin back to Terrell Davis and Terrell Davis is putting on a clinic right now I mean the last couple games we played with him I mean he has ran the ball extremely well for us um, and it's just a simple simple rushing attack but like I said I mean when they execute it this well it's certainly a it's certainly a tough to stop there's the drag we're in field goal range at this point and so now what we like to do is really try to take some shots um, so we're gonna go with a quick screen here uh, just to try to get the ball to Cooks in the open field. Get some blockers out there with that 95 speed. Get him the ball in open space. Gets a nice block here and there. With seven seconds left, we've got enough time to maybe throw two more plays. Um, so we're going to try to do two quick runs to Terrell Davis um, to see if we can't get in the end zone, to see if he gives us a good look. If he doesn't give us a good look, we'll go ahead and say, okay, we'll take our three points. Um, and that's really, you know, that's the heart of what I do. Like I said, it's, it's all calculated. What we want to do here is not just score, but we want to, you know, we want to, you know, be smart about how we take our shots. Um, so here, two quick runs to Terrell Davis gives us the opportunity to get down if we ever need to. Here, Davis, three seconds. What we're going to do is call timeout, 
and we'll just take our three points. The reason we do this once again is it's about going up by possessions, not necessarily points. And if we go up, you know, even if we score a touchdown here, we're still only up by two possessions, so we're gonna take a field goal and be, um, you know, be up by two possessions uh, anyway. Same outcome, but we're guaranteed a field goal versus, you know, what if he block sheds and stops us in the backfield for a loss of gain. So there you see a, a pretty solid performance. I mean, very similar to the opening of last game, and. Um, we're going to get the ball, and it's really important that we go down and we at least, you know, score a field, uh, not a field goal, but this is where it's really important for us to score a touchdown. Um, this is where, you know, you really got to, you know, get your, this is where your offense needs to be um, a beast. You know, this is where the offense really needs to step up. Um, in this situation, I like to start off the second half. I normally start out with a little swing pass uh, or a screen pass or something like that. So we'll start out here. He's not really giving us a look for it, so we're going to go ahead and just check down to the inside zone here. Um, let Davis power for two. Um, the, the other thing that we, you know, is really important um, is that we keep moving the ball forward. We keep moving the ball in positive yards. You know, not taking losses. I mean, that's an essential to my success. You know, we always have a decent situation. And here, a nice look for the counter. Um, so we'll look to hit that. There's Davis. Nice run again. Nice run by Davis. One more missed tackle, and we could have been in on the run for six and I mean you're seeing solid execution right now from Terrell Davis I mean just a really really solid performance right now that he's putting on for you here we're gonna go play action read here and just try to hit Gr uh, Jimmy Graham and there's Jimmy Graham we'll try to hurdle with Jimmy's size as you see Eli Manning I mean simple but not you know not too shabby um, I do like to you know every now and then I like to mix in um, some screens. I, I think the, the PA screen does a really nice job if they're in off coverage. Here he's impressed man, so we're going to check into that inside zone, or excuse me, outside zone here. And like I said, just keep going forward. I mean, when they if they don't give you a look for the screen, check out of it. Don't don't just run it just because you you know you you don't you know none of your quick audibles are going to give you big yardage, but you know just stay simple, stay calm, composed. Here we're going to look at the counter. Nice tackle in the open field by the linebacker. And that's the other thing. I mean, when the defense makes tackles like this, when the defense makes good tackles, don't be mad at it. You know, it, it's part of the game. I mean, part of the game is this, you know, third and seven, third and four. And, you know, this is kind of the, the big portion of the game that we don't want to look at. Here we're going to go P.A. Reed. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to put Davis on a wheel route and motion him to the right side of the field here to change up a look here. The opponent goes man coverage. We're able to hit Jimmy Graham on a crossing pattern, get a nice big first down, and that was a big third down conversion. And that's where you—that's what I'm saying. You know, that's where your your money plays have to be money. I mean, that's where you really need to be able to execute those, um, you know, those basic plays to to really work down the field. Here we're going to go back to the run. Terrell Davis. Like I said, I really like this outside zone. I think this is a really good package. Uh, to come out in, especially for a nice little mutt mini scheme in the draft champions game mode. Uh, and what we'll notice, you know, if we notice him playing off coverage, off coverage, off coverage, then we'll throw a screen in there or something like that. But right now he's playing pretty disciplined to that side of the field, and so we're going to take a you know advantage of that and say Terrell Davis is better than you guys one on one. And what this, you know, and there we get stuffed in the counter in the backfield, and that's what say, you know, we can't take negative yardage. And so even a, even a loss in the running play is only a loss of two, but like a sack would be a loss of six. Um, you know, so on a second and two situation on a drive where we really need to get six points, um, you know, it's important that we, you know, we stay really calm. And there, Terrell Davis busts through the middle of the play, and gets a nice run, and we've been able to take a lot of time off the clock as well. Looking hammered in here, we're just going to go with a basic inside zone. What we're going to do actually is we're going to audible. We got a nice one-on-one -on -one out to Larry Fitz. Nice aggressive catch on the fade. So. Pretty solid drive there for the offense, taking advantage of the simple things, the little bitty things that we do, um, and, uh, and, and it pays off for us once again. And again, we go for two in this situation because it'll put us up three scores, or excuse me, four scores, four possessions. Uh, Ring cooks across, get a nice block on the outside to seal that pitch. Terrell Davis stiff arm in his way into the end zone for two points. And so a pretty solid performance right now. And, you know, um, defensively, this is where you can really pin your ears back and rush the passer, so to speak. And what we like to do 
is we like to get in on a format, a four down lineman set. We like to really let those four guys rush the quarterback, and we're going to play disciplined defense um, on the outsides. And what that means is, you know, we're going to play cover four um, primarily in most of the game here. So what we like to do is go to the dime, and the play we like to use is this three double buzz. But what we do is we take these outside corners and put them in hook zones. The slots and deep zones over the top coverage, this makes it really difficult because those slots get that inside position um, against those deep passes. And so here, just kind of let him go. Uh, let those little drag let those little drag routes happen and occur. Um, our main concern is, is those deep streaks or those deep out routes or things like that. So here you go, snug. Like I said, see how we pinned our ear backs. Rest the pasture. Nice four down lineman rush. And you see he's going to have to take that underneath. I mean, there's no, we are not going to get beat deep. And that's really what we're, you know, conceding that underneath. And, of course, we need to put our best pass rushers in the game. It's always wise. Sometimes I forget to do that. So here you see the three double buzz. Pin your ears back, rush the passer. Keep stay in your rush lanes and allow that underneath to occur, then you come up and you can tackle. I mean, that's really what we're after here. And what I like to also do sometimes is go cover two man and then just take these guys and put them in deep zones. And now you have a cover five with man on the outside. Um, you know, everything's going to stay in front of you. You're not going to get beat deep. You can see this underneath, come up and tackle. And then, you know, the likelihood of them getting an onside kick, you know, is always there, but, you know, it's not very likely, so... And there you see there's a bad throw. And we see we concede that short short game. I mean, we really do. And, and there's it's calculated. I mean, there's a reason we do it um, beyond just the fact that we're trying to stop the deep pass. I mean, there's a reason we concede it because they're going to have to take time off the clock as well. Um, and so, you know, that's a big portion of why we do what we do here. But come up, allow Clay Matthews, allow those guys to get hit sticks. Here the no huddle. There's another drag pattern. You see, all this is going to make him take time off the clock. Um, you know, I mean, 46. I mean, he's taking about a minute a minute off the clock on this possession. Now, when we get down in this situation, this is where we can really put our ears back and really rush the passer. Um, so we're going to send this 4-3 over play. What we like to do here is really... You know, take advantage of these quick underneath stuff. And, you know, force bad throws like that. And that's what we're looking to do. Um, in the re You know, this is very calculated. I mean, this isn't something that we just, you know, just happen to luck into. But this is something that's very calculated. You know, all the hook zones are in specific locations, you know, based on what he's going to do. You know, slant patterns and those things. Forcing him to block a running back so that... That that's going to have to work through it, and and I mean this is this is part of the way we play defense in this game, and I I really think that it's the best way. Here a little play action pass, and we got that nice pressure in at the quarterback. He had a guy open, um, but now he's on a fourth and goal situation. Now in this situation. We like to do is we like to go to that dollar three two six because we know he's not going to run the ball, and we're going to send that nice cover two blitz at him. And we got some hook zones out there. We got some man assignments. Force a bad throw, and the defense just pitched another shutout for us. So a really good game for us overall. And uh, of course, you know, offensively we're going to come out, stay simple, stay small, um, stay with our running game. I mean, he has to take the timeouts, and so, you know, this is just simple offense here at this point. I mean, we're really just looking to power the ball, um, get one first down, and, and go home. I love the cutback with Davis. I love that spin move to cut it back and uh, work it. And, of course, we'll get the two chew clock mechanic on. 
Um, and that'll be it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Like I said, you can, you know, if you're looking for some help with Madden offensively or defensively, check the description. I got some good products there. Pretty cheap, pretty affordable products for you to check out. And so you can check that out if you would like to. Um, but other than that, guys, that's all I've got for you guys. It's our Draft Champions gameplay number two uh, in our series. And we'll see what we can do next time for you. Hopefully we get another victory and continue on the progression. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to check back our channel.